Okay, hey, I'm James. I just wanted to show you some of the circuits I was putting together and testing as I'm like working towards building my own gear. So right here, this is a MS20, it's a patchable synthesizer. It's like a, a normal sounding synthesizer. And you'll be able to hear it in the in the track how it sounds. But you've got right? Mm -hmm. And so down here you have this unit, the Nova Drum. This is a, a quad unit that I built, sourced myself. This is like one of the things that's inspired me to want to build my own circuits. But you'll see that right here I've got ground and then I've got like the triangle and square wave outputs of this oscillator that I built. And you can put them into an eighth patch cable just like this. And basically I'm building my own little patch point for this guy. So if you do something like, let's say, we'll do the trigger input which is going to bypass the keyboard. So this guy is what's going to trigger the keyboard. And let's see. This is what it'll sound like. So you can hear because the oscillation is happening so fast, um, like around 2,000 times a second, which is why the triggering See, that's the actual note when I release it. So it's just the bare electrical connections that I'm actually touching on the triangle and square wave outputs on this breadboard. So that's for the trigger input. And then if we put it instead to say the two combined oscillators here, right? So you've got like, let's say a C. We'll take it out first. And then we put this guy in here. It almost sounds like someone screaming or something. So you can take it out again and do it. So you can hear how extremely different the sound is. And uh, let's do one more because it's fun. So if we put, we'll use the lower oscillator and we'll just trigger that with the same C so you can hear the same note, right? So that should give you an idea of a pretty extremely bizarre way to make sound. <laughs> so you can do a lot of weird stuff with these guys.